Hellos, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Rai and this is Rai's Reading Corner. And today I'm going to be sharing with you some spooky middle grade recommendations. Again, hello, I'm Rai and this is Rai's Reading Corner. Um, if this is the first time you are seeing my face or if you have not yet hit the subscribe button, please do so. It's super easy and it really helps my channel grow. So, as you could tell from my little introduction and my thumbnail, today I want to share with you some of my favorite spooky middle grade books. So, I've really gotten into middle grade books lately, and I've noticed a lot of the readathons that are going on this month are asking for you to read a middle grade book. So, I thought it would be really fun to share with you some of my favorite spooky middle grade books and hope to give you guys some ideas for some of the amazing Halloween spooky readathons that are going on this month in October. So, the first one I would like to recommend to you is um Neil Gaiman's The Graveyard Book. So this is not necessarily a spooky book, but it has supernatural elements in it. So we have our main character and um, his name is Nobody. And he was abandoned at a graveyard as a child and ghosts come and take him in and raise him as one of his own. He's loved growing up in the graveyard, but as he gets older, he's really conflicted because he wants to live like with humans, obviously. He notices that he has the inclination to be a part of their community, but he also has loved growing up in the graveyard with his family of ghosts. And so he's really torn about being in these two different, completely different environments and situations. Also, there's kind of this mystery element of someone is like coming after the, him as well since he's been a child and since he's been a baby. So yeah, this is a really good book. I think it deals a lot with um, trying to figure out where you fit in and being torn between two different places but in a kind of spooky supernatural element because he's literally doesn't know if he wants to live with humans or his ghost family. So if you're looking for something that's not too spooky but has those supernatural elements, I highly recommend Neil Gaiman's The Graveyard Book. I almost forgot the name of the book. So my next one I'd like to recommend to you is Coraline by Neil Gaiman. So I feel like a lot of people know about this because it was made into a really popular movie. But if you're not familiar with it, we have Coraline and my ring light's really picking it up. So I apologize. So we have Coraline who has moved into this new like um, house that has a different tenants living in it. And she is kind of not happy with how things are going on. Her parents don't give her much attention. She's really bored all the time and she's looking for something new and exciting. So one day this little secret passage opens up and it's a whole other world that mimics her real world at home so all the same people are there but they have button eyes and they're obviously not her real parents so um this other mother really wants her to stay there so she's not very nice to say the least and says some things to Coraline and yeah it's this book is really spooky and really creepy I've actually taught this book and I've just read it for an enjoyment and um, people really generally like this book. So if you're, again, it's super short too. So if you're looking for a spooky short book, I highly recommend this. And it's um, like under 200 pages, I want to say. Yeah, it's under 200 pages. And I know for a lot of the readathons, you need books that are under 200 pages. So this might be a good one to pick up. So the next one I would like to recommend is a series. And so I have not read the third book yet. So I don't want to necessarily recommend that one. But um, two out of the three books have been amazing. So I have really high expectations for the third one. And that is the Small Spaces series. I am actually um, getting the Small Spaces book. I have it ordered and it's coming. Um, but this is Dead Voices. This is the second one. But it is a little series about a group of kids and it starts off with that they are going in the first one small spaces that they are going to a spooky um like cornfield type thing with um scarecrows so perfect for fall something happens there and there's like this alternate universe and the kids are kidnapped and scarecrows come to life which is really creepy and I loved that aesthetic of that one so that was my favorite one so far um and we have three kids who are trying to save everybody and not get killed pretty much and then it continues in on a dead voices we follow those same three kids the same type of atmosphere something's going on spooky and this deals more with like ghosts and it takes place like on a snowy night um at like a ski resort type place but it picks up and it follows like it's yes set in a 
different place but it has the same elements the same main characters as well so that's really exciting and the next one is dark waters which is coming out soon i actually hoping to get to that um this month um i haven't i have it on my summerween tbr so these are really good and especially the first one is definitely perfect for fall because it has that um corn stalk corn field scarecrow vibe so i don't know i think it's pretty good all right my next one is um city of ghosts by victoria schwab this is a another series and and here we have our main girl cast and she can see and talk to dead people so right there like how much better can you get for a spooky october read she literally speaks to ghosts and the ironic part of it is that her parents are ghost hunters but her parents don't know that she's able to see and talk to ghosts and go into this alternate world where the ghosts are like in this limbo and she like interacts with them um yeah so she is actually going on an adventure with her parents for ghost hunting for this tv show and she's kind of stuck because she is going with them and they want them to come but she like is going into like these alternate universes where these ghosts are and yeah it's really really spooky um definitely it took me off guard as being a really spooky book for a middle grade um it talks a lot about death and obviously so just as a heads up but yeah this is a good one and i've already started the second one and i am enjoying it as well so definitely some paranormal too if you need it for a paranormal prompt okay so my next one is a dark academia book for middle grade which is really really cool and that is the mystery of black hollow lane by julia noble so we have our main character her name is I gotta look at it because Emmy <laughs> I read it a little while ago and Emmy is shipped off to a boarding school because her mother I think is an author and she has to like go travel um but what she finds out is that her father's disappearance has a connection to the secret society at this boarding school so she has this really cool found family with her friends trying to figure out what happened to her father which is putting her and her friends in danger of some pretty not nice people so this is really fun it's not necessarily spooky but it definitely gives you those dark academic feels and I know a lot of people look for that in the spooky month of October. So yeah, these are just a few, I think, of really good middle grades that would be really perfect for a lot of the readathons that are going on right now that gives you all of those vibes that a lot of us are looking for in the month of October. So if you have a favorite spooky middle grade book that you think I would really like, please leave it down in the comments below. So if you want to take this crazy journey with me, please make sure you press that subscribe button. If you never want to miss any of my content, make sure you hit that notification button. If you would my friend on any of my other social media platforms, I'm on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. All that information is linked down below. So stay kind, loves, and I'll see you next time. Bye!